Hey guys, it's me Falco. Welcome back to one of the most useful videos I'll make this year. Especially if I don't make it again. However, uh, this is going to be a gold guide. So for members and non-members, I'll go through both methods, have them kind of like linked as a timeline so you know which is which. And um, yeah, either way, let's go. Okay, so the first method is going to be a member only method and it's going to be the Leary contract. For this, I do recommend having Crag and Bamboozle at least. So you can do the diamond exchange to get unidentified 13s which are needed for the quest and also you can do the stuff like bamboozle versus george and the assistant and spin the wheel of chance you can either talk to nogaf or you can have the eighth betrayal blade or a sword of nogaf click on it and it'll bring up a leary contract here okay so as i said you need uni 13 but you also need the undead legend rune for that you just come and kill the undead legend in underworld really easy and you get 500k per turn in and one of these weapons here they look pretty cool, however they are also member only. The next method I want to mention is going to be Honor Hall. This is also a member only method. You'll come over here, especially in the public lobby and do the Hall of Honor's quest. You get 100k per turn in and you basically just kill these enemies in this room so we've got like 20k health and 10k health. They're really easy especially in a group like I said. It's one of the faster ways to get earn money, once again because you're a member. Uh, I think it's around 20 mil gold an hour with boosts on which is really nice. However, it takes a bit more effort than something like the Leary contract. Okay, now to switch over to the non-member methods, from what I've been told, especially if you're doing stuff in solo, uh, the best method is Dark War Nation. So you need stuff like a farming class, like a really good one with weapon boosts, etc. Especially because you're doing it solo. But you come talk to Skew and you'll accept these first four quests. The medals you can do up here, however you can also do these two here, which give 3k gold per turn in without boosts. And uh, you'll come over to the right until you get to the room which looks like this. Okay, so now that you're in the room which looks like this, you can do all the quests which are required by Skew. Killing the Dread Knight and the Fiend Rider, these give the medals and the stuff which is necessary for the quests. And uh, overall, really good method. I think what I've seen is around 17 mil an hour solo at max with boosts on which is really nice. Okay, so the next method just like on a whole is going to be Battleground E. Here if you do the level 61 to 75 quest, you can get 50k gold per turn in. Uh, rooms of these are usually more than honor hall and are usually a bit more full. However, uh, these guys also have less health so they're quicker to kill. Um, I've seen apparently you get around 15 mil an hour with boosts on here. Uh, personally I don't use this because I use honor hall and uh, the Leary contract. But uh, apparently these places are pretty easy and uh, yeah. Now it wouldn't be a gold making video especially for non-members if the famous place known as Seven Circles War wasn't mentioned. Now here you'll find a big group of people usually just stood around here. Make sure you've got a farming class on with long range especially. And you can do the Mega Medals quest and the War Medals quest. If you want XP as well you can do the Guards of Wrath. I've done this before in an alt account. Like 15k gold. It's around what? What would it be? 30k, it's around 60k XP per turn in, which is really nice, especially for something this easy, uh, with boosts on, if without the cape of all that is. And uh, yeah, apparently you get around 12 more gold an hour here, so uh, pick it up if you guys want to just kind of sit here and mindlessly click buttons instead of turning in quests. Uh, I, I personally think this is a pretty okay method. Okay, so here's a method for members and non-members without any gold boost active. If you just come up here after joining Archmage, you'll find these Prismatas. You may or may not have seen them before. First of all, they're really difficult, so you can't solo them. However, if you have a decent composition of like people in the room and just a large amount of people in general, you can pretty much kill these dudes okay-ish. There's not really too many problems. Um, they drop a thing called the Elemental Binding. These sell for 15k per uh, turn in. So each one's worth 15k and they stack up to 2,500. That's around 37.5 mil I think overall if you max stacked it and uh, overall without any boosts on it's a really great amount of gold. Okay and finally the main thing I want to mention is the ultra quests. Just do the dailies. Do the dailies, do the weeklies like Ultra Dage, Ultra Norgaf etc etc. The Engineer, Ezra Jal, uh, the other one the Warden which no one likes. And uh, yeah, at least from the Warden and the Engineer, the daily ones, if you have boosts on and the server boost is on as well, you get 1.25 mil gold. If you do the weekly ones like Dage and Nulgaf, you get 2.5 mil gold as far as I know. But these are really easy, they take like 10 minutes to do. 
to get like, you know, 3.6 mil gold or whatever it is, 3.75 uh it's worth it you, you know it takes 10 minutes out of your day it's a really easy way to get at least around 4 mil gold if there's no boosts on when it's 1.8 so around 2 mil and uh yeah it's really nice this method okay guys i think that's going to be it for the end of the video um i think i've mentioned all the important methods if i did miss anything out please let me know in the in the comments and i'll basically just pin them uh however i think the leary contract on a haul you know, Seven Circles War, Dark War Nation, Dark War Legion, and uh, Battleground E, the Prismatas, the Daily Runs. Uh, you can get some pretty decent gold out of all of those. I think they're the best methods possible in the game. I may miss one or two out on purpose, like the Fire War, I think it is, with the Dragons. Just because I don't think it's worth it, especially compared to Seven Circles. Um, but yeah, overall I think these are all the good methods, and I hope they were useful. Uh, if you like my content, please consider subscribing. I'm nearing a thousand subscribers currently, so I'd be very appreciative. However, I do feel like you guys are going to see this after I get past that point. And uh, yeah, I hope that you guys have a good day, good night, good evening, whatever time it may be for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.